Hello my beautiful Geminis and welcome to your mid-May 2020 love reading. Happy birthday. Let's get straight into it. Um, I can see a bit of cat and mouse at the moment and I feel like you're the one that's doing the chasing and spirit is saying try to pull back a little bit okay you've got the yang card in the reverse you've got the peace card in the reverse um, so this whole cat and mouse game is causing you a, a bit of stress um, maybe you're looking for certainty maybe you're looking to I don't know solidify the connection that you have with another person maybe you're looking for them to spend more quality time so sorry about the noises um, but spirit is saying just relax and detach from the plan so there's there's a particular outcome that you're really wanting um, and you've got certain expectations that you want to be fulfilled but Spirit is saying all is well. You've got the you are perfect card. Um, so there's no need for you to worry. Whenever you're feeling anxious, this is your affirmation. I am perfect who I am and where I am, experiencing exactly what is at hand. Okay. Um, there's no need to rush this connection. We've got shaking the hourglass. Um, so don't rush the getting to know you process. Have a bit of patience with this person and don't try to force anything. We have square hole round peg all right um so there is that sense of a pursuit going on and i feel like you're the pursuer but with this yang card in the reverse the message is um uh what is it one second be mindful of the tendency towards impulsive action or aggressive behavior so think before you act lest you find yourself in a situation that will lead to uncomfortable consequences. So don't be inundating this person's inbox with, you know, triple messages. Allow them to respond, okay? Um, so don't so don't continue this chase. Don't be acting out of fear, okay? Practice temperance, diplomacy, and thoughtful consideration before making a move. Because you are projecting your fears onto this person, and what happens is... Um, they it's like a magnet they will run the other way you are actually repelling them with your chase okay so I want you to prioritize your sense of peace and um, let go of all those fearful thoughts okay because they are going to sabotage the connection that you've got going based on the cards in the pre-shuffle okay so let's see um, what else I can get for you from the oracles and then we'll have a look at what um, the tarot has to say so angels and spirit what are the messages for Gemini what are the messages for Gemini please in the month of May 2020 in terms of love what are the messages for Gemini in the month of May 2020 Your messages are okay see this this is you worrying you feel like things aren't how they should be right now and it's creating anxiety um, you believe that something's missing something's lacking um, and it may be you know this connection lacks certainty for you you know, it doesn't have to mean that there's something missing within the relationship, like something major, like trust or communication. It just can mean that you're lacking a sense of security. Um, but we get what we focus on, remember? So if you're, you're focusing on a lack of something, then the universe is going to match that and it's going to keep, you know, um, you know you're going to keep manifesting exactly what you fear. So you need to accept the connection as it is and flow with what is instead of fighting it, instead of resisting it. Because when you can't change a situation, all you can do is compassionately accept it exactly as it is. And that's what 
gives you peace. And we saw the peace card before. Um, we've got surrender comparisons with other people. So it could be that, you know, you feel like you should be more serious now in, in the connection. You, you've been with this person for a certain amount of time and you feel like it should be, you know, a little bit more, I don't know, you feel like there's there needs to be more commitment or, you know, I don't know what it is, but, but you need to keep your eyes trained on yourself and focus on your own strengths, attractiveness and power. Don't be worried about everyone else. Um, and remember, you got that card, you are perfect. Well, this card is saying surrender to your soul's path. And it's a very similar message. It's saying your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. So embrace every lesson and every moment. Okay. Um, okay. So let's have a look. Where do we want to go next? I'm going to use the tarot and see what your energy is, Gemini. Then I'll get the other person's energy. So angels and spirits, show me Gemini's energy in love in the month of May 2020, please. What is Gemini's energy in the month of May 2020? Okay, so maybe you feel like you're giving more than the other person. You're invested more and you're kind of wanting there to be a little bit more reciprocity and mutuality. We have the Six of Pentacles here. This is all about give and take, all right? Um, we have the Seven of Wands here in the reverse. Don't be too stubborn. Don't be too fixated upon your expectations and how things should be. You need to give a little bit. Be a little bit more flexible, okay? And choose your battles. Remember, peace is your number one priority this month. Um, things will improve, okay? Um, I, I feel like you're wanting certainty. You're wanting clarity. We've got the Six of Swords. Things are going to, to get smoother. I feel like there are choppy waters at the moment um, and emotions might be running a little bit high, but the Six of Swords is a good sign. It means you're sailing towards calmer emotional waters, okay? Um, and you're moving past certain things. Um, you, you're letting things go and um, yeah, you are embracing this new journey, I feel. We've got the Sun card, so you are looking for clarity. Um, this is also asking you to keep it light. Don't be so serious. The Sun is quite a playful energy. Um, yeah, it's, it's a childlike energy. Um, it's warm, okay, so stay warm. And yeah, you are looking for security, most definitely. We've got the, the Ten of Pentacles, and in the love reading, you're wanting that emotional security from the other person. I'm so sorry about the sirens. All right, let's have a look at the other person's energy, Gemini. So angels and spirits, show me who Gemini is dealing with in the month of May 2020. Who is their person of interest? Show me their energy, please. Angels and spirits, show me Gemini's person in the month of May 2020.
So we have the Hanged Man in the reverse, we've got the Devil card, we have the Three of Wands in the reverse, the Sun card in the reverse, Six of Swords in the reverse, Page of Cups, King of Cups, Ten of Wands. So they are kind of a little bit stagnant at the moment and they're probably not being very forthcoming about their feelings or where they want to go you know their future plans your their intentions with you okay you can see how this guy's hands are behind his back he's very much up in his head and he's not making any moves okay he's, he's only got one leg or foot planted on the ground okay so he's a little bit unsteady um and he's he's unsure of himself okay overthinking things maybe there's something that's tying him that's binding him um, or her depending on who you're dealing with because look at this this guy is still tied to the tree although it's not like he can't make a move he can he can actually mobilize himself but with the devil card Again, we've got this imagery about restriction and limitation and feeling bound or stuck or tied to something. Um, so there's something that is restricting the person of interest, okay? Um, and that's why things aren't moving forward. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn with this devil energy. Um, it's like things are put on pause, on hold for now, okay? So I feel like this is you waiting on them to communicate or show some effort, that kind of thing with the three of wands in the reverse. You're looking for clarity. We've got the sun card in the reverse. They're lacking clarity. They can't give it to you. Again, this is a card about being unable to move. We've got the six of swords, which is a card about movement. And sometimes it means travel over water. In the reverse, it's they're, they're stuck here. They're definitely stuck. Um, it's like you're wanting them to go from the page to the king. They really have a lot of work to do. They have to pick up their socks a little bit more. Um, but it, they've got a lot on their plate. We have the Ten of Wands here, which would suggest they've got a, a really heavy burden on their shoulders. Um, so I don't know things might be quite stressful for them at work or they have some baggage that they need to deal with before they can progress things with you they're not in a very celebratory mood we have the three of cups in the reverse and look it should be the in the upright because this is your birthday so they could put a dampener on your birthday they might not meet your expectations as to you know they, they just might not meet your expectations when it comes to celebrating your birthday. But the three of cups in the reverse would, would suggest that there's a third party, and I say that in inverted commas, in your relationship because it doesn't have to mean another person. It can mean another responsibility that's taking precedence over your connection. So you're feeling like you're playing third fiddle to something and it could be work, it could be children from another relationship, it could be um, any kind of responsibility that's tying them down and um, making them unavailable. Okay, so let's have a look and see what is coming in between you and your person of interest. So what is the, the main obstacle? What is the main obstacle for Geminis in love this month? What is the main obstacle? What is coming in between Gemini and their person of interest in May 2020? What is coming in between Gemini and their person of interest in the month of May? Okay, so we've got a lack of clarity. They, they might not be telling you everything that's going on for them because we have the moon card, okay? This could be a secret that they have yet to reveal. Um, but this could just be confusion and not knowing a way forward based on, you know, feeling overwhelmed by all of the responsibilities. It doesn't always have to mean underhanded kind of behavior. Um, this is you trying to force things, trying to speed things up, but that's actually going to be an obstacle for you this month. So if you can just give them some space and some breathing room to sort out what needs to be sorted out, it will work wonders in your relationship. 
okay? So we do have the Three of Swords. So there's there's a sense of grief and loss, um, and it could be on both sides. There's there's some hard feelings that need to be healed before the two of you can move forward, okay? It could be stuff that they've had to deal with in the past that they're still healing from, okay, Gemini? So let's have a look at what the Cupid cards have to say. Okay. So you've got the storyteller. And it's saying, tell your tale and listen to as others tell their tale to you. Find the point at which you meet and form a bond that's strong and sweet. But if your life's a tale of woe, be slow to let bad feelings show. So I really feel like you need to keep it light. You need to keep it playful this month. Don't be too, you know, um, demanding of your other person this month. Okay they're feeling the pressure and if you're feeling stressed at work you know try not to um, t tell them about your struggles your worries while you are very much entitled to the support um, that they're kind of needing right now I feel like um, they won't be able to carry any more responsibility than they already are, okay? Um, yeah, so again, we've got a card asking you to be playful and be like the spider. You can see the spider and the web in the corner of this card. Now, what the spider does is it doesn't chase its prey. It knows that if it weaves its beautiful web, it's only a matter of time before it the prey comes to it and it's guaranteed it's already done the work and you know it, it's very confident in its um, ability to weave that magic and then you know the prey just gets stuck in the web so you don't actually need to chase after your prey this month um, you just need to be like the spider you've got the lover card here too which is a really beautiful card it's probably the best card in this deck and it's saying, you're surrounded by possibilities for pleasure. Enjoy the moment. Um, love's gentle power you'll attract with graceful manners, charm and tact. You'll find true love by working less and smiling more to look your best. Enjoy yourself and celebrate the one you're with may be your mate. I love that message. All right, I'm just going to get one final message from the love and relationships affirmators. listener this month your significant other might need a bit of a you know someone to hear them out um, they, they might need a bit of a sounding board so activate your receptive side and become an engaged intuitive professional grade listener supercharged listening gives you the ability to not only hear the words others are saying but also to perceive the emotions hiding between their words Armed with this knowledge, you'll be in a great position to give them exactly what they need, okay? Um, and look, spirit loves to acknowledge it's your birthday, okay? So they're saying, yay, celebration. Um, when you come across people in happy, healthy relationships, um, you can give jealousy the finger and celebrate their joy. And in so doing, you are rooting for the good guys, which means that you're a good guy. And that means all of us win. Who wants to celebrate? So this goes back to that message of don't compare yourself with others. Okay, keep your eyes trained on yourself. Don't compare your relationship to others, okay? 
um, there's enough happiness to go around. All right, so I do hope this has been helpful. Leave your feedback in the comments section. I'm always grateful for that. Have a great birthday and I'll see you next month. Bye.